of a better expression, with a hand on my hand, usually we're actually touching the, the opponent rather than us. So, so this move here, if I go here and touch myself and move out of that, no, don't move away, don't move away, just stand there. I hate it when people do that, just stand there. Just move. Just <laughs> If I do that, what's he got? Let's see, he's got all sorts of stuff, hasn't he? All right, so if I'm going to do my touching myself move, which is what I'm very good at by now, that doesn't work because it leaves him there. So given the principle that if I'm touching myself in the form, I'm actually touching him. If I'm here and I break out that way, see where he goes now? See where he goes now? So I've got control of this hand and that hand over there is a lot harder for him to do anything. Yeah? I can do that to here. That, that looks all right, but as soon as I move this one away, I leave him open to hit me. So what I want to be able to do is this to here, and then come to there. Now remember, the reason we don't do this is if I do, if I miss him, and I do that, I'm open again. Well, not necessarily I'm open, but I'm actually moving my hand away from him. What I want to do for this is be able to be in a position where I can hit him here, I can hit him with that arm, I can hit him with that elbow, I can use that, this hand and my balance. All I've done is go into that position there and he's fallen over. All right. Especially guys like you, go through the carter, just do the carter. <coughs> Don't try to, to fight the drill. Because I could do the traditional walk and go to carter with this and be in the right position all the time. And I step through here, I'm in the right position all the time. So don't swap your feet over it, but just do the cutter. If you're doing the Zendoko version, that's fine as well. Get to here, bang, get to there. You can step in this way if you need to, that's fine. Because what you're doing is you're bearing down on it, all right? But uh, we'll take it to the next, next step from here. So here I am, I want to take him around here. He's blocked, I've come in forward to there. I've done my little knee and or kick, depending on what that is. And then what's the next move? From here, once I've done there, where do I go? No, 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 no. Of course, it's the other way here. The other way. So one's here, one's here. If there's an open, there's a close. All right, so here we are, from here, again. Bang. This is an open. So what have I got to do now? Close. Close, all right. I've got to here. If I'm going to close, if I do exactly the same technique here, what happens? That, which is an underhook and a pike. And you also didn't make him put his hand in the right place. So, if I just do the form, funnily enough, if I just do the form, he can't hit me with his hand because I've got it. And if I hit him, he can only block me with that one. So he has to put his hand where I want him to put his hand. If he doesn't put it there, if he doesn't put it there, game over. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. If he puts his hand up there, then he's where I want him to be to do this next one. To do this next one. And I can do that 15 times, as I said. Application, don't worry about the application. I can turn him over, I can lie him down, jump on his head. But let's do the drill. In the form, I turn around, my left foot's forward. We just do the form. I turn around, and my left foot's forward. I want to drive him there. I don't want to be here. Throw him his punches at range. I want to come and move into him. So he does this again. Bang. And so when I do my sweep, this way, he's not there, he's actually here. So I've got to do it the other way. So I do this. Well, which arm's he going to block with? This one. Because if he blocks with the other arm, I'll come inside him, I'll come outside him, I'll do all sorts of things. He has to block with this one, otherwise he gets hit in the head. So from here, if I'm in the right place, bang to here, and I throw this. He's got a block with that arm, and then I grab it and I hit him underneath. And he's got a block with that arm, because I've got this one. He's got a block with that arm. And I grab it, and I hit him here, and then I step forward. Step forward, throw my reverse punch. Step forward, throw my reverse punch. It actually comes this way. We can hit him here. We can use this, we can use this. Dropping into your cat stance, here like so. Use this for the rear naked choke, because it's exactly the same position. Only enough. Into here. We can use that as a ridge hand strike, ridge hand strike, ridge hand strike to work into here. Ridge hand strike into here, into here, 
into here, wherever it needs to be. All right, wherever you need to be. So, but just work the form. So I'll do it once more. Work the form here. Bang. Closed. Opening. In. Open. Closing. In. Call him in. Collarbones. Bang. I need to be able to get in on him here. Bang. So that I can go here. Grab. In. Here. Grab. In. Push. Bang. Good night. Finish. Finish. See you later on. Okay?